everyone. This is a message for everyone living in the UK. Recently, this article came out and people are really feeling the impact of articles like this and also what's going on in their environment. They say the weather doesn't help. And I think, come on, people living in UK, we can turn things around. We can better our well-being, our mental and emotional state. All we have to do is have an attitude of gratitude. So there's several things we can do and we can really turn things around for ourselves. The first thing we can do, and I know that this will have a positive impact on people, stop complaining. By complaining, you're adding to that stress response. And um, I think we need to recognize the importance of mental health and emotional health by encouraging open discussions and making sure that they're positive and exposing ourselves to positive news, positive things. You see, by complaining, it adds to negativity. It can trigger opposing emotions and take care. We've got to take care of that mental health. We've got to let stuff go. We can't keep dragging things because they will drag us down. We've got to stop complaining about things like the weather and I think we're so lucky we've got such lush greenery. It's raining today in London where I am. And yeah, so what? <laughs> it doesn't mean you can't do what you want to do. Just embrace it and encourage and facilitate opportunities for individuals to build and maintain social connections with you. How are you going to do that? Just smile, be friendly, say hello to your neighbor. Even if they don't say hello back, be happy within yourself. You see, when you get involved with just uh, saying hello or just in the community and just doing things where you're um, forming get-togethers or engaging with others that have the same interest as you, it helps. I mean, back in the day, we used to have community centers. I know I'm showing my age. But we used to go there and play pool and just have that human connection and that helped us develop better, stronger social connections. It gave us a sense of belonging and happiness. And I think this message, this part of the message is for bosses, um, promote a healthy work-life balance by implementing flexible working hours, encourage breaks for your uh, employees and vacations and um, a positive work culture. Create an environment where everyone feels that they can manage their work and their commitments and have time for personal interest. Again, if you don't want to have that community sense within your uh, neighborhood, you can create it in your work environment where you have a ping pong table, darts or whatever else you want. It's just bringing people together and it helps people focus and it improves living conditions and working conditions. So I think going on to living conditions again, we've got to be able to have an environment where it's decluttered, we feel comfortable, we feel safe, we feel happy. Um, you have space, no matter how big or small it is, where you have space where you can move around, uh, exercise, go out and exercise, be healthy, be consciously aware of what you're eating, what your uh, your physical health. It's so crucial to your well-being, and it can positively impact your mood and your happiness. And last but not least, I think contribute to society. Do charitable work. It is so rewarding when you support others, even if I keep talking about neighbours because I'm really close to my neighbours. But even if you know you've got an elderly neighbour, do something charitable, do something, a service. Uh, again, that comes from my cultural background because we're so used to doing that. And if you can't give or you feel you have to give something physical, the, the the least thing you can do is smile because that is a natural painkiller and it it's a mood booster. So, and it's an international language. 
So let's change things around for England.